Today, I'm gonna to be exploring a desert canyon deep in the American Southwest. I found this canyon while on Google Earth looking for cool alcoves to explore. This canyon caught my eye when I was looking inside of its alcoves and I began noticing what looked like ancient ruins. I was amazed when I checked inside this particular alcove and saw this clear view of a ruin. I had to see for myself what was hiding inside of this canyon, so I hopped in my car and went to go check it out. All right, we have traveled to the location, or the, the canyon, where I uh, s saw those clear, like, s some sort of ruins in those alcoves. And uh, we're gonna go check them out and see what's actually there. And it's honestly just crazy to me that Google Earth is capturing, you know, something in these alcoves from, I don't, I don't know how that works, but it's crazy to me that it gets captured. All right, we have been walking through this dense uh, cottonwood grow for a while now and we have just come yeah to the first canyon I believe is right up there that first uh, alcove looks like so it looks like we're gonna have to boulder up this wall all right not too bad not too bad let's see if we can go find this alcove all right that has led us up a kind of rocky, mostly slick rock wash. And there's definitely some big alcoves at the end of it here. I'll show you what I'm looking at. Whew, there it is. Wow. That is a precarious position for a lot of those bricks. It is right on the edge there. I wonder how they got in. Must have had a ladder. That is impressive. All right, so I've walked up close to it and it's kind of crazy just how high up that is. I mean, standing right here, that's gotta be a good like 20 extra feet. So they must have had a huge ladder. Uh, blackened ceilings. Another maybe circular structure in the shadow there. So I'm gonna try to uh, get back up here and take some photos of it and uh, hopefully enhance the uh, the view for you guys. I bouldered up to a better view and it actually looks really amazing from up here, I'm not gonna lie, especially in the morning sun. This is the perfect time to come here. Um, but I'll try to throw up some close-up photos that I just took from here and while I've been up here I've noticed that there is a cave up here and there's a chain fence which means there's probably some more ruins to check out. Whew. That is such a picturesque view right there. I love that. Another thing that's great about these ruins is since they're so high up I doubt they've ever been touched by modern humans or at least maybe by a couple ambitious vandalizers have gotten up there but for the most part I think they're pretty untouched which is a really good thing and I took some pictures of Martha under the clip just to show how high up they are anyway Martha's gonna boulder up now and we're gonna see what is in this cave up to this cave and it looks like it's been the whatever runes were in here have been mostly destroyed except for this little circular kind of, I don't know if that was a kiva, it's a little small. There's something that looks like a kiva pit right here and maybe back there as well. But there's definitely some habitation here, some fires. This, this is honestly a much bigger alcove too. Oh, there's petroglyphs on the walls. I didn't even see those. This, dude, they love making their spirals out here. They're just on every side. There's a nice spiral there. Let's try to check the surrounding area. There might be some more cool stuff. Oh, there's pictographs. Let's see. There's a little bit more. And uh, there's another great view of this place. And it looks like there's actually a very cool pictograph in this on this far uh, left building. So I'm going to zoom in and take a picture of that and show you. It's very well preserved back there because it probably doesn't get any sun. This viewpoint was a great opportunity to directly compare the view I got on Google Earth 
to the view I got actually standing there in person. You can see the picture I got goes right over the Google Earth imagery. All right, that was absolutely amazing. Super cool run. Now we're gonna go check out some more alcoves that we've just found. And one of them I'm pretty sure I saw on Google Earth that definitely had a run in it. So we'll see if we can get up there. So we got into this alcove after a very steep walk up the hill. And there's definitely no ruins in here. It's mostly just sand, but there is these, I think, I think they're grinding stones where they would grind maize. And even more evidence of such is there are some traces of corn or maize left down towards the entrance over here. You can see there's some corn husks and even right here, there's a little itty bitty corn cob maize. <sighs> so I was really hoping we'd see some evidence of uh, their food today. So that's pretty cool. Oh, be careful, that's poison ivy, by the way. Okay. Um, made it around the corner and uh, we are, oh, wow. there's a lot of poison ivy. Working our way up, there's definitely another ruin in this giant alcove. Looking up to it, we got a huge wall right here. And we'll probably try to stay back on this side because it looks like it might be kind of fragile. Rock's still standing. Ah. Uh, like it, there's no cement. Pure luck, probably. I mean, that, that wall probably used to go to the ceiling. Or much higher, and it's fallen. A lot of these rocks might be part of that wall. Get up there. Wow. Definitely got another structure over here. You can see the wood beam. This might have been a very big, big structure once upon a time. Well, it seems like they just don't want you to go next to that wall. So, I'll step back over here. Oh, wow, yeah, a lot more. Alright, so we found a nice, safe dirt path up here. And it is really cool. Starting off, there is absolutely a ton of corn in there. And a ton of corn in here. And there's even our first look at a piece of pottery being very careful with it you can see the the curve right there doesn't seem to have any markings on it but that was definitely part of probably a bowl or something so leave that right there it was probably left there by someone who picked it off the ground for right here. people to see another piece yeah, it's just little. oh oh that one has a I don't know what it's called but it's got pattern on it it's really cool Remember to always put stuff back where you find it. So we're going to try to get to a vantage point on the boulders where we can see a lot of these structures. Because there's a, something big right here. Bouldered up this little boulder field here, making sure not to touch it, anything that is clearly an artifact. There's lots of uh, grinding places down there, so we had to be <laughs> careful. But uh, right over past this giant wall here is a super deep cave. I don't know if you can see that, but it just goes far down. And we were like, oh, that's why that wall is there. They must have stayed down there and had that wall to protect them. And then on this side, there is another deep cave. And there's actually a way down that we might be able to make it without, it looks like a pretty natural rock fall there. And there's a very big structure right there with logs. And it's actually decently preserved. So we're going to go I think older than this and check that out. And just to show you guys, like almost all these stones have been ground down. They're pecked holes in all these boulders. And we're making sure to avoid walking on all the ones that have been clearly, clearly marked. Right, so we made it down that pretty slidey section and there's actually a building right here. Definitely something right there, some more corn. Maybe even a piece of pottery on that rock. But it's been mostly taken over by pack rats. And we're gonna take a look at this main structure in a second after we see if there's anything in the back of this cave. 
which it seems are oh there's a bunch of pottery on that rock let's go take a look at that so all might have been structures at one time but it seems that this rock fall has kind of taken taken its alcove back just huge boulders but yeah this is uh interesting it's definitely had a lot of fires there but whatever structure used to be there is completely gone if any and yeah we got some nice pottery pieces to check out there's another one of those banded ones don't know what that's called exactly there's more in that rock back there yeah that's super cool imagine when the site was first found there was probably really well-preserved big pottery but since then most of that is gone and just the little stuff is left good look this run here there's more bits of pottery right there but it's a pretty sizable structure and you can kind of see a, a angle we don't normally get from above where the beams have been Maybe a second layer went up. Oh, wow. Oh, shoot. I didn't see Those that. are huge. Yeah, those are the first pictographs we've seen here. There's some more over there that have Yeah. Washed. Those are like jump scared me. I was like, oh my God, there's little people right there. But anyway, um, and I thought it was interesting that this log here has been so perfectly sawed. I guess they must have had saws. I thought they only had axes, but clearly they're, they're more technologically advanced than I had previously thought. And when I say that, I mean ancestral Puebloans. I need to learn more about their history, but this is a very impressive ruin. Definitely a big habitation here. And those are some cool, cool uh, petroglyphs. So we've seen very similar ones in the area. So there's clearly some cultural similarities. I wonder if that's a, I don't think that's a big piece of pottery. But then over here, Going on. Yeah, I think they uh, th all of this probably used to have uh, something. Let's see if we can see more petroglyphs down here. It looks like there's some more markings. Looks like there's a bit of something there, but it's been starting to erode away. Oh, and there's some petroglyphs down here we can take a look at. Yeah, anyway, that's this site. Um, when I looked on Google, Google Earth, I think I just saw this thing here, and then most of that I couldn't tell what it was. So this is much, definitely a much bigger site than I originally originally imagined on a, when I saw it on the imagery. Editing Landon here. If you've made it this far in the video, you should definitely consider subscribing. It'll keep you up to date on my future content, and I would really appreciate it because I'm trying to get to that. 1,000 subscriber goal right now, and every subscriber counts. I appreciate you guys, thank you. And also, yes, uh, I am editing in my car. Don't ask why. All right, guess what? Another alcove, another ruin. This one though, I don't think we're gonna be able to enter. Yeah, definitely not, because it's built on this huge dirt wall, and up there in the back are some ruins. So. They're probably very well preserved because this looks pretty impenetrable. <laughs> Must have had a ladder. I don't. I don't know. And I don't know geologically how this sand wall has formed, but it must have really helped their defense of this place. Oh yeah. It looks like there's two main structures back there. Definitely some habitation. It's such a unique looking. Like super flat mud wall, like I've never seen anything like that. So, I lied. It's actually not bad at all to just walk up this right here. They're basically steps. I don't know if they've been carved or not. But then, just a vast sandy little flat here. The rooms over there, and they must have had tons of fires back there, as the ceiling is just blackened. And I just spotted this. There's definitely some pottery. We'll leave that there. Martha is walking up now. The little spot. Let's check out. Sandy flat. Jeez. 
such a big elko back there. If we walk over to this ruin. I don't know what really the purpose of this was. It's just kind of like a little wall. This <laughs> little cutout. Maybe they stored food in there. But since this has been heavily shaded, looks like it's very well preserved. And going over to this guy. I can see definitely a blackened roof. Oh, there's a, uh, and they're grinding spots. And a little ruin. Wow. Very cool. Here's a look up into that. I'm not going to get too close to it because it looks like it's in, uh, falling down. That is almost completely covered in the, the mortar. You can't see any of the rocks. So that's what probably most of the buildings originally looked like, and then they eventually rode to show the rocks inside. Very cool. After exploring this canyon, it is easy to assume that this place once housed an ancient community. There were simply so many dwellings filling all the alcoves of this canyon, I just couldn't believe it. I'm really glad I got to enjoy this place and this piece of ancient history, and just remember to always respect these ancient dwellings whenever you visit them or any sort of ancient history you may find in the American Southwest. If you want to see more exploration of ancient history, check out this video right here.